We just lost a good friend to COVID and his wife and three boys need your help. Hey friends, it's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life straight from my car dashboard to yours. Not on the dash today, I'll tell you why in just a second. But first, uh, here's what you need to know so you're in the know, whatever you are and whatever you are doing. Uh, did I say today is October 11th? Hopefully. Um, so a lot of Southwest flights, over 2,000, have been canceled in the last couple days, wreaking havoc everywhere, as you can imagine. Uh, the Boston Marathon ran today, and the Bills beat the Chiefs in Sunday Night Football, kind of redeeming that loss that they suffered to them that kept them out of the Super Bowl last year. It's also International Day of the Girl. So let's move on to what I really need to tell you about. If you don't know Charlie, I want to introduce you to our friend Charlie. I'm going to share his wife Kara's um, some of the Instagram pictures because I just want you to see this sweet family. Um, Charlie, who is up in the corner there, um, lost his battle with COVID um, just a few days ago. Charlie and Kara are just a precious couple. In fact, they were the first couple that I met um, when I started dating Otto, and we just instantly um, connected. Uh, not only do we have a shared love of Disney, their love was just palpable, and um, Charlie was an amazing sound engineer, and so we all have a lot of mutual friends, but he um, was content to be behind the scenes and just point people to the Lord and love on his family and connect others. And he did a masterful job of all of those. And so it's especially heartbreaking that he left this world too soon, um, in my opinion. But I say all that because Kara has such an amazing perspective and heart. And we know that he is safely and wholly in the arms of our Heavenly Father, but we want to support her and their three boys. They have three boys that are um, ranging in age from 15 all the way down to six, and we want them to be taken care of. And so I'm going to put a link uh, down below. Uh, a friend that set up the link was just asking that we would love to cover their monthly expenses for six months, just so they don't have to think about that at all, um, at least for the next six months. So I know there's a lot of worthy causes, a lot of um, great things you can give your money to, but if you would be willing um, just to donate whatever you can, whatever is put on your heart, um, I'm going to put the free funder link below to help the Tualatai family. And that's all I have to say. I just, you can't take back um, what's happened, but we can reach out in a tangible way. And um, Kara, just the way that she loves, even in the midst of her own pain, has been incredible. And to say that people's prayers are not in vain, um, and that what Charlie would have wanted is, you know, even though it didn't bring the, the, <laughs> the ending that we wanted, um, that he would rest well knowing that um, so many of us have drawn closer to God because of the prayers that were offered on his behalf. So um, we love you, Kara. And I just want to pray faithfulness over everyone today. Uh, we know that God doesn't always answer prayers in our way and our timing, um, but he is faithful and he is true. So if there ever is a moment of anxiety, sadness, questioning, um, bring those to the Lord. Any communication is good communication with the Lord. So whether it's concerns, questions, anger, sadness, just bring it to the Lord. And when you're in that place of doubt, go back to the last thing that you knew to be true. The last thing you heard, the last thing you read, the last thing that you had peace about and just pray over that. So friends, um, I say it all the time, but it has a special meaning today. Have a great day. Make sure you make it great and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.